Hello, this is Diana from Artfully Yours, and today I'm doing a little um, demo of iPad painting of this flower. The photograph is from a friend of mine. These are brushes that I use, two brushes. Basically, I'm using the wet flat brush and the round brush under the painting digital brushes. They're under the painting digital brushes, there's about 10 different brushes. I'm basically using only two digital paint brushes in this one, plus the pencil and um, yeah the photograph comes from a photographer friend of mine who's given me permission to um, use his photos in my artwork and so I don't know the name of this flower um, but I I don't um, do flowers that often but I just thought oh, it's springtime and um, I'm probably going to be painting a, some more flowers because um, this friend of mine he takes a picture he takes lots of pictures of flowers and um, so here I am basically well I'm using one of the brushes I think it's this the the round brush um, and it's under the category of painting because there's different categories like airbrush airbrushes inks um, uh, abstract there's one set that's called abstract but this one's called painting and um, here I'm just using probably the, the round, the soft brush at, at almost the smallest point size, so it's a line. And, um, yeah, I was trying to make it as realistic as I could. I don't consider myself a hyper-photo realist, be a hyper-photo realist painter, but I was trying to get this um, as realistic as I can possibly get it. And I think I did a pretty good job. Um, here I'm, I'm just adding shadows on one half of the flower because I noticed that one half was slightly like in shadow compared to the other side of the flower. And um, I love pink, all shades of pink. So that was one reason why I'm painting this flower. And it, plus it wasn't part of a whole bouquet. Um, so I... I do take creative liberties in the fact that, well, in the photo it just showed that flower with the pink center and then it showed one bud, but I'm going to add um, more buds and a different in different shades in the background. And um, there, there, and see there I, I use the um, smudge tool, which is next to the, the tool that looks like a crayon. And so I, I painted in some greens and then I... And I actually go over it with the, um, I think it's called the smudge tool or was the blending tool to blur out, I mean, just blur out the colors. So then after the after that, I almost finished at that point, but then I thought, no, it needs a second bud. So I added the second bud. And um, I put highlights on the the stems, little details like that really make it, and then I didn't, the green, I wasn't going to add pink in the background, but I kept looking at it and think, no, the left side doesn't look right. And so I added hints of pink in the background on the left. And then I was really happy with this. So, and right here, I used nine layers plus the background color, which was green. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like or comment. And please subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a nice day.